Hey guys, I wanted to share with you my experience of uh, owning this for six months now, I believe, ever since my review video. Now, first off, I want to say that I haven't been using this every day. Uh, I've been on and off with it, but in the past few days, I started to use it again. And the main reason was because um, whenever I connected this uh, with my uh, phone, I mean, when it turns on, it automatically connects with your phone usually. But um, the problem with that is that I tend to use like wireless uh, speakers here and then wireless Bluetooth earbuds a lot. So when that when this connects, that disconnects and vice versa. Like when I try to connect with my Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth earbuds, it disconnects. This disconnects. So it's like they're not they don't work simultaneously, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, but that's the main reason. Uh, I know most of you won't have that kind of issue. I personally did. And uh, the other thing you'll notice is that there's another watch here, another DZ09 watch. Basically what happened with this one was that um, I bought it from like Pegin or whatever it's called on Amazon. And this is like the 2.0-ish version or whatnot, and this is slightly newer version, I believe. Um, yeah, the clock looks like this. You have these three, and then this one is slightly different. Yeah, this has a nice looking... What just happened there? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so basically the problem with this is that when it runs out of battery, uh, it just doesn't even charge. I found out the solution just recently is that I have to just uh, take out the battery and put it back in and then start charging it. And uh, it's kind of a hassle. And then there are some dead pixels. I don't know if, if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, definitely not. I don't think the camera will pick it up. Let's see. Yeah, and it, it does some random stuff sometimes. But yeah, I mean that's again that's what you uh, that's what you pay for. You know these cheap these cheap uh, smartwatches or cheap products in general will generally have a will tend to have a higher chance of uh, being defective. So I mean if that happens to you, I'm sure you can get this like exchange if you bought it from Amazon. I'm not sure about the other websites like Gearbest or whatnot. But yeah. So basically, in my review video, I originally said that this is the best budget smartwatch I've used. And uh, to the, at this point, I still stick with that. Is it the best watch uh, ever for a fact? And I'm not too sure because I honestly haven't been keeping up with uh, the whole market of uh, smartwatches. But I will say, though, that this is better than like the two other ones I've used before. Uh, one was, uh, I know one was the U8 watch. I actually have it right here uh, if I get it out. This watch, let me see if it even turns on. And the reason why I like the DZ09 over the U8 was because, you know, uh, the resolution is higher on this and it feels a little brighter. Uh, with the resolution being higher, you know, it feels more sharper when you look at the uh, screen than this right here. And um, it's made out of like aluminum or something all around. So it has that like kind of premium feel to it. And it, it kind of looks like a Galaxy Gear ripoff. And I actually really, sorry, I can't talk today. It actually really does look like a ripoff. And I have gotten that in the comments, but no one's really come up to me in, in like real life and asked me like, hey, is that like a Samsung Galaxy Gear? But that's beside the point. Uh, so yeah, and then I've tried to install my SIM on here because uh, that's why I said it was a great option because there's a, you can install a SIM and it was open to all GSM networks that work on 3G. Now, if you're living in uh, India and whatnot, because I get a lot of questions people ask me on Twitter about like when they're from India, which uh, which one will work, which, uh, what do you call it, carrier. And I'm not sure about India's because I actually live in America here. Uh, and then with America, I tried my own SIM and it didn't work, unfortunately. Of course, I'm with Sprint and they're using a different um, technology, it's CDMA. So that's the main reason why it didn't work. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was pretty disappointing. And then many people do state that they're, they're, uh, when they install, insert their SIM, let me zoom in here a little bit. When they insert their SIM, it doesn't work. Now that's pretty unfortunate. And the people that say it does, the people who do say it works on, or I mean, yeah, the people who say that you know it works on theirs, they say it only works like a 10th of the time. And that's only a handful of people that have told me that, or have at least commented. Uh, so that's pretty disappointing. That means you won't be able to use Facebook, WhatsApp, the browser, and of course Twitter. Now this one has Twitter. The older one does not. Yeah, just Facebook, WhatsApp. 
no uh, no Twitter it just goes back to the regular page so let's see a little difference here uh, yep all pretty much everything else is the same oh slightly different I guess nope pretty much the same with everything yeah just this one has Twitter and I heard that basically when you go on when you click on Facebook or Twitter it just really takes you to the browser and on goes on facebook.com so it's kinda of pointless I guess the other thing is that you won't be able to install applications on here there's no app store for it that would be really cool if there was but I mean yeah that's that's another that's another downside for probably a lot of people but I mean coming back to it all just remember that you're just paying about ten to twenty dollars for this watch actually this was available for like five dollars yesterday I think and that, that's just insane but yeah but with what what it's able to do like for me I found it useful like some people will say that, that it's useless but for me I found it useful for you know answering calls when I'm like driving or something like this will pop up and say uh, like oh yeah someone's calling I can either answer or decline it when I'm on the phone like I mean <laughs> I don't have to take my, instead of taking my phone out, I just have it right here on my wrist and I can just answer it and just talk from there because this has a microphone here. Um, I think it's on the top here. Yeah, so. And then I do make some calls with it. I do have to talk a lot, a bit louder than uh, I would on a phone. And then, of course, I get messages on here too, like text messages. If something happens, like with Lookout, my antivirus, I do get a notification on here. It's not the same or as good as it you'd see it on like a Moto 360 or something that's a little more expensive. But again, you're paying a fraction. So that's why I said that this is uh, one of the best smartwatches, budget smartwatches I've used. Uh, and yeah, I mean, oh, and the one other thing is that with messaging, it's a complete joke trying to type, type on this one. If you look at this here. To get to C, you have to like press three times. I mean, you can press up here, but it's like, it's so small. It's so, it's really small. And then same with the other one. I mean, it's the same thing, really. I mean, that's, I'm definitely not going to use it. I wish it had some kind of voiceover command. Like, you know, you can say, I uh, press something and be like, oh, I'm on my way. And then it types it out. That would be, that would be really helpful. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, um, I would say overall, if you're thinking of still getting this, uh, don't get it for the SIM, and uh, yeah, because it's not going to work with SIM, but it does connect with your Android device as long as you have Bluetooth and BT notifiers compatible with it. But yeah, this is a great uh, way to get into the smartwatch industry, uh, like a beginner's uh, thing. Yeah, like an entry level is what it is pretty much, and so for that reason, I would recommend it. But, I mean, you don't have to get it if you don't feel comfortable with it. Um, and now, I've heard a lot of people asking me a lot of comments or a lot of questions on this watch. I actually do want to get them answered on my um, on another video. I'm actually going to be making another video soon. So, you know, be sure to subscribe for that and uh, ask me any questions. I'm, I, you can probably, I probably respond a little faster on Twitter. I'll have my Twitter uh, account name underneath. It's at, at under G tech. And yeah, I mean, so I'll have that up soon. I upload videos every week, so or I, try, I try to. And so yeah, I hope this video helped you out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.